Hello everyone, welcome back to Maxim Automation. Today in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use your pipeline script from the Git repository. So far, we have seen how we can create pipeline scripts in Jenkins project. But we have another option where we can directly get the pipeline script from the source code repository. So let's see how we can do this. I have one pipeline demo project here. And if I go under this project to the configure option, then here you can see that I have this pipeline script available where I have different stages and the pipeline script is the part of the pipeline project. Now let's say if I have to do any changes, then I'll come to this pipeline project each time and will perform my changes. And if I change anything and save my script, then I'm going to lose my earlier changes. So if someone makes any changes from my team, then we're going to lose the changes forever. This is one of the biggest drawback of using the script directly in the pipeline project. To avoid this, we can push our script into the source version control systems like Git. So if someone changes the script, then I can always track what changes have been done. And if required, we can roll back the changes as well. And if multiple pipelines use the same script to run the test, then if we do the update at one pipeline, then every build is going to be updated. Otherwise, we have to go to each build project and then we need to do the update. Here you can see that this is the pipeline script and there is one more option that is called pipeline script from SCM. Under this, I have one option for get and if I choose this option, then I have to provide the repository URL followed by the git credentials. After providing these details, this can download the pipeline script from the Git directly. So first of all, let me copy this script and then I'll move to my GitHub repository. This is my repository page and I'm going to create a new repository here. I'm going to provide the repository name as pipeline script. Now the new repository has been created and I'm going to create a new file here. And after that, I'll copy the content of the pipeline script into the new file. Now let me commit the changes. And if I go to the pipeline script repository, then you can see that I have this pipeline demo file, which contains the pipeline script. Now, I'll move to the pipeline project, and then I'll choose the pipeline script from SCM option. And then here, I have to provide the Git repository URL. So let me copy this URL to the clipboard and then I'll move to the project. This is the Git repository and these are the credentials. I already have the saved credentials with me, which I'm going to use. In your case, you can provide your GitHub email ID and password to save new credentials. Then here you can specify the branch to be used to get the content. And then you can leave all these fields as these all are optional. Then here we need to provide the file name to be fetched from the repository which contains the pipeline script. So in our case, the script name was pipeline demo. This is the file which is placed under my repository. Now, I'm going to save the changes. And now I'm going to build the pipeline. You can see I have clicked on build now. And if I move to the console, 
then you can see that all these steps have started running. First, it is going to download the pipeline script from the GitHub repository. Here you can see it started fetching the script from the repository which we have provided. Once it is done, then it will start running the pipeline. You can see that now the pipeline stages have started running. Here, the clean workspace stage is running, which is a very first stage. And if I go back to the project, then you can see that these are the different stages which are running. So this one is done. That is cleaning workspace is done. And now the Git clone is running as part of the pipeline script. So this is how you can fetch your pipeline script from the Git repository instead of adding the pipeline into the Jenkins project. Now you can see the .NET clean stage is running. So this is how you can run your test from the pipeline script which is available in your Git repository. I hope you like this video. Please put your comments in the comment box. Thank you.